Welcome everybody. I think it's the first vlog for uh, 2021, huh? I'm not sure. I'll have to. <laughs> I'll have to uh, um, look back. But today I want to talk about the impact banks can have on startups and what's existing today, what is needed for tomorrow for the African continent, and what this topic is important because uh, you know when we talk about ecosystem. We should always look at the different components to the ecosystem that can bring an impact to the startup ecosystem, right? And banks in Africa right now are not playing uh, too well into this game. There's yet, you know, lack of banking solution or system that really have an impact in a startup ecosystem. And I want to give some examples of what we're using outside Africa and some of the, the tools they have. So check it out. Henry Yakarundi, the innovator behind the innovative the entrepreneur from Rwanda. Grand plaisir d'accueillir aujourd'hui Henry Yakarundi. Pour en parler, l'équipage reçoit son concepteur, Monsieur Henry Yakarundi. Right. So, like I was saying, um, listen, I, you know operating in multiple countries and and having bank accounts in those different countries I've noticed that no banking system that I know of no banking company that I know of provide a, 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 a product for startups really catering to startups and I'm not just talking about a, a products for, for for bank accounts uh, you know where you can open a bank bank account and and you know low fee or zero fee so on so forth but i'm talking about contributing to the ecosystem where the bank can help because bank let, let's keep it you know let 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 understand something banks you know hold money not just for startup or individual but for big businesses they have relationship with investors they have a relationship with a lot of people within the business ecosystem. So they have huge network, um, but yet most of the bank are looking for big business, right? If you talk to a bank and you talk about numbers below a certain amount, they're not interested because their fees and you know will become low. It's, it's, it's not appealing for the banking. They're looking at millions or billions where the fees can be attractive, but there's an opportunity for a certain banking solution to tap into that space. Startup will become one of the fastest growing entity across Africa. You know, startup, we, we already know that small businesses already, um, and not, let's not even talk about the informal sector, but the amount of startups are growing tremendously. Uh, across Africa, I don't know the numbers, but uh, from what I've heard, uh, what I saw, it's it's a huge, huge amount of numbers across Africa. You know, governments are putting in place ecosystem to easily register businesses, to easily uh, have uh, companies uh, registering and and starting. But yet, there's a lack of tooling for those uh, uh, startup to 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 do business right and the lighting is terrible um and i believe banks can play a huge huge role to for example help startup connect to investors in their network i'm sure they have network for that uh startup you know trying to raise their a round their b round uh um help startup you know even go public why not uh, that could be a, a huge, huge, so there's a lot of services that banks can bring to startups that can be very interesting. Now, would it be interesting for the big banks? No. They're so used to the big money, startups is, is definitely not the ecosystem. There's a need for a new banking system to be created, a new opportunity uh, for, for a banking system for startups that can cater to all those things. And why am I talking about that? Well, we recently um, joined Mercury uh, Bank. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a banking solution. 
well, I, I call them solutions. It's a, it's a banking service in the U.S. And they cater strictly to startup. Zero fee, zero fee for transfer, uh, no monthly fee. Uh, already those are way extremely appealing. Everything online. Um, you, you can keep track of all your sales and everything. So they have some type of uh, uh, a very good dashboard, I would say. But they also on a monthly, I think monthly or quarterly, uh, you can send them your pitch deck. They share with the investors. Check it out, mercury.com. There's another one in um, in Silicon Valley. I think it's S SVG. I'll put the links below. Um, um, it's another banking service that are really, really catering to startups. And they help you raise capital. They, rep, you know, on the A, B round, uh, they can help you grow. They're even building a, a built-in accelerator program within their banking services. I mean, it, it's just amazing. And all those, um, and you, you, unfortunately, we don't see that in Africa yet, I would say. And that could be a game changer. And that's really what I wanted to talk about. So, you know, check them out. And if you know any banking system across Africa that cater to startup, that'll be great to know, man, because we we cannot do business without a banking service, right? And we need a banking service that address our problem. You know, huge fees and all those things. Every time, you know, you got monthly fee, got withdrawing fee. Every bank have that. It's just like they're trying to milk you to the bone instead of catering to the customer. They're trying to milk you to the bone. So, um so yeah, so I, I hope to see a change of, of strategy and, and see new services in a banking uh, uh, system uh, that will take us to the next level. Take care.